Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel for the CWS. So, yeah, no votes on the poll. Ah, fuck it, let's just do them all anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be watching January 7th, 2013 edition of Monday Night Raw. This is the TLC match with CM Punk vs Ryback, where CM Punk was injured with his elbow. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's kick things off, and we just had John Cena commenting on his actions from last week after dumping a whole bunch of crap on AJ and Dolph. It's humour from an elderly man who thinks it's funny. It's not, it's boring, but whatever. Um, but, luckily that leads into a match, it leads into John Cena versus Dolph Ziggler, after Big E accepts the challenge that John Cena, you know, hashes out, and I don't admit, first match of 2013? Bloody good match. Until John Cena wins, lol. Why can't we have Dolph Ziggler win this match? I mean, yeah, the feud was going on, but it was a good, you know, it was, again, it was an entertaining matchup, and it was very fun to see. Uh, you know, Dolph and Cena, you know, they can always put on a good match as well. So, you know, Cena wins with the FU, goes on to win the Rumble, then goes on to face Rock at Mania 29. Spoiler alerts if you don't know. So, next up, we had Caitlyn versus Eve Torres. <laughs> This was okay for a, a, win, a Divas match in 2013. It was good. But then Eve just walks away from the match and Caitlyn wins. So I was like, boring. So next up, we've got San, uh, Santino Malera talking to Ricky Steamboat. They basically just go back and forth. They're like, you're good. No, you're all good. Barry comes in and Patriots just says, eh, you both suck and uh, where's your fire mate and walks off. So we'll have Ricky Steamboat in Santina's corner for his match coming up with Wade Barrett tonight. Then match director talks to Randy Orton. He officially declares himself for the Royal Rumble. Free and B come in. And then all of a sudden we have um, Randy Orton saying that he will take on Heath Slater. So that could be a good matchup. It'll be a squash, but it'll be a good matchup. So, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see what is coming up in hour two and we'll go from there. Okay, so we just had Team Hell No versus um, Team Road Scholars. Uh, this was a good matchup, actually. You know, Team Hell No and Team Road Scholars are a good tag team. Very entertaining. And it was a good showing from both teams. Uh, team, Hell, uh, team Road Scholars get the win with uh, the crossroads from Cody Rhodes. But yeah, it was a good entertaining matchup. Then we had one of the two matches pre announced, which were Heath Slater versus Randy Orton. Not a squash match as I thought it would be. It was. It did last a few minutes, but you know, ultimately, Randy Orton wins with the RKO out of nowhere on Heath Slater. Um, Jinder Mahal and Drew McIntyre come in and basically try to attack him. Nope, RKOs for both of you. So, hey. Then Wade Barrett versus Santino Morella, and all of a sudden, literally, Wade Barrett hit hits the ball hammer, wins one, two, three. The match went literally. Four, under four minutes. Way Barrett's good, but yeah, whatever. Next up, we had Matt Stryker uh, interviewing Sheamus, and he basically challenges Chinder Mahal for a match, and he basically just fussed around with them. Yay. Then we had Grey Carly versus Antonio Cesaro. Antonio Cesaro could win a good match out of anybody. He didn't with Grey Carly. It was not. But he did manage to win with the neutralizer, so that was a holy shit moment, but wasn't good. So let's go into the next like half hour, 45 minutes, and we'll get back to you. Okay, so we just had Brad Maddox talking to uh, Paul Heyman, basically saying, I can get my referee shirt on and come out and help with the TLC match for Punk's title. And Paul Heyman basically just goes, I want nothing to do with you, I want nothing to do with the shield. Get here, goodbye, and what's off basically. Then we had Jinder versus Sheamus in a eh, surprisingly entertaining matchup. I mean, you know, for MB at this time were basically just jobbers at the end of it. And, at the, you know, pretty much Sheamus wins with the bro kit after kicking both Heath Slater and Drew McIntyre's asses. End of story. It was a good showing from both guys, but it was boring at the end, no offense. Next up, Punk versus Ryback in a TLC title match. So. This isn't even in the main event, ladies and gentlemen. We've still got one more match before that, and we'll get to that in a fucking minute. But this was good. I mean, it was an okay match, bar the finish with um, the Shield getting involved. 
So yeah, it was entertaining. Um, love tables, ladders and chairs, love love, obviously. But this was good. But again, the finish with right back with you know, going for the title and then all of a sudden blackout, she'll come up and then drop a power bomb in through a table on steel steps and punch rolls up and wins the belt. Fair enough, they weren't gonna put right back in the champ you know, they weren't gonna give right back the championship, so do it this way. Fair enough. Um, it was good, but again the finish just wasn't needed personally, but whatever. So, Matt Stryker tries to interview Punk, he basically says uh, Punk has no affiliation with The Shield or Brad Maddox, so I'm going to be talking to The Rock before he comes out and basically he's dropping another pipe bomb. We'll see about in a minute. Then Team Hell No, well, Kane and Daniel Bryan are with his knee, Vicky comes in, you know, they're shouting. Vicky comes in and basically says, uh, next week you're going to be seeing Dr. Shelby for your full month review. Don't get me wrong, I like Dr. Shelby around this time, but... Eh, oh, I'm fair enough. Then they argue saying, is he a nerd or a monster? Whatever. And then the main event, ladies and gentlemen. Kofi Kingston versus Big Show lasts 15 seconds. Knockout punch, one, two, three. That's literally the fucking match. It sucked. And then the main event segment is a 30-minute... Fucking promo from Punk and Rock building up the Royal Rumble. I have an issue with this. Why was the Rock given a fucking title match at the Rumble? Everybody, you know, nobody knew at this point that it was going to be Rock Cena. Okay, and people were like, oh, it will be Rock Cena. Fuck off. No, you didn't. I just don't get it. I didn't understand why the Rock was somehow managed to get this title shot. For what reason? He comes back at World 1000s and says, that the winner with the, you know, the winner, WWE Champion going into Royal Rumble, I'm going to face. You didn't earn it, motherfucker. You didn't deserve it. Fuck you. <laughs> you basically just want, you know, WWE just wanted to shit in CM Punk's Cheerios at the end of it. You know, because Punk had been doing great work as a heel. It was really good heel work, but all of a sudden, fuck CM Punk, apparently. Um... You know, missed opportunity having a triple threat with Punk at Mania, but Punk would go on to face Undertaker of Mania 29 in a good matchup. Uh, that was actually a really good matchup, and it also featured the debut of Fandango versus Chris Jericho, who debuted at the, uh, who returned at the Rumble. So that was Raw, ladies and gentlemen. Was it a good Raw? Eh, it's a first Raw back. It was okay. Um, it was entertaining at least. Um, didn't really, you know, I sat through the entire show and watched it. But you get to that, uh, you know, if that's a roar in 2013, then Jesus Christ, I do not want to watch a roar in 2021. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. I do want to talk about something. The next two episodes of the CWS are going to be pre recorded. Um, to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, I need to take a break from um, just everything. So. Episode 95 and episode 96 are going to be pre-recorded. I'm going to I'm going to have them up ready to go anyway on the channel. I will possibly do Dynamite, but if I skip, I'm doing well. It's World Rager and um, well, it's World Rager next week, and it's the week after it's um, Friday Fest Night One. So I'll probably have I will be doing both full shows. Um, to be fair guys, but the next two episodes of the CWS will be pre-recorded so I can just have a break. Uh, we'll be back fresh, Brian Irie ready for episode 97, I believe, yep, 97 will be. And episode 100, uh, I just really want to take a few days off, so I think episode 98 and 99, possibly 97 as well, will just be pre-recorded. So I can get ready for episode 100 and come back fresh, ready to do episode 100, guys. So, with that all being said, thank you very much for watching episode 95. And I will see you next week for AEW Dynamite and the CWS episode 96, uh, 95. So, this was 94. Next week is 95, guys. So, CTFN. Just up for now.